morning, day seven. We have a jam-packed day full of pool time, relaxation, great food, and amazing entertainment. Let's get started. I get a message from JJ saying he's down in the slam and he has two chairs saved and come on down. I found him and he does have two front row, pretty good solarium seats. And of course, the chair hogs are out. JJ said one woman came down and saved six chairs. So if you haven't cruised yet, be prepared. His coffee looked so good that I'm going to get my own. Got my coffee and some maple donuts from the Cafe Promenade. I had to have him remake my coffee because it tasted awful. It's <laughs> cafe mocha. And I told him, I said, I'm sorry, I think this was made wrong. It was supposed to be cafe mocha. And he looks at it and he was like, oh yeah, it was Americano. It, that's not what I drink. So come on now, you got to start the morning with some sugar. Let's go. And we have chops for lunch. So we're going to tide ourselves over with a maple donut and some Starbucks coffee and then go enjoy chops. Hot tub done. Coffee, still working on it. JJ's got his earbuds in. I'm not doing the pool, y'all. There's some people in the pool right now. I cannot imagine how cold that pool would be. Turn down the glare on my chest. <laughs> and that's with a spray tan, y'all. I mean, that's what's kind of scary. Jasper. He got a, he got a spray tan the Thursday, Wednesday, before we left on Friday, and it's faded that much. I'm so white, y'all, Casper. <laughs> but, you know, PSA. He's been cut on. And I've had melanoma, so I don't need He's been cut on for skin cancer, so, you know, you got to be safe. So, slather up, enjoy your pool time. It's your vacation, and don't worry this about it. This pretty, but this is pretty. <laughs> I think your face is pretty. I got a pretty face. Hot tub and coffee done. And JJ was sitting there listening to some scripture reading and I was watching Netflix and we thought, well, why don't we just go up to the diamond lounge if we're just gonna sit and relax. Um, and I can do some editing and he can sit on the veranda. So when we come into the diamond lounge, you'll see your concierge on your left in the desk, Miss Elia. She's here to help you. The view in this diamond lounge on this size ship is amazing. This also has a bar that you can serve yourself at. Of course, it is early in the morning. It's uh, almost nine o'clock, but they have the orange juice and the coffee machine. They have a full stocked bar with a smoked salmon and assorted cold cuts and cheeses strawberry and blueberry parfait and assorted danishes and pastries um, that would be wonderful as well as toaster oven and you know all, of course you got your regular and your decaf and your hot water to make your teas as well and your milk and then of course the deck i think it's very cool because of the size of the ship you don't get this on every ship the oasis class ships the diamond lounges are in the basement practically they're like on deck four so you can see you have the dunes for the mini golf and you have the pickleball court or basketball or tennis or whatever they make it. And then right here also you have the climbing wall. So it's a really uh, awesome view or you can sit over here and just have an amazing view of the ocean. Loving that cruise life. And there's the editor in chief for all things Wagner doing her thing. Not a bad office view, right? I'm going to read some quotes of movies, and the only thing you have to write is to what movie that quote belongs to. Because loneliness has followed me my whole life, everywhere, in bars, in cars, sidewalks, stores, everywhere. There is no escape. I'm God's lonely man. The correct answer is taxi, taxi driver. driver. Yes, man. It's a classic. Who is who is the driver? Robert De Niro. We're getting 100% wrong. I know. <laughs> four, four out of four. Number five, Asa La Vista, baby. Terminator, Terminator we finally Joe. got one right. That's a pie cross promise. Easily made, easily broken. Mary Poppins. Wow. Happy 
That sounds like her wisdom, though. The 1964 Mary, Mary Poppins wisdom. We're Karate amazing. Karate We're doing kid. amazing. One out of eight. Hey, what percentage is that? Next word, now, a census take one strike to test Look at this one. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Chianti. Lambs. This silence of, of the lambs. lambs. Yes. Number 14. We represent the Lula Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz. All right. Oh, we did so bad. So bad. How many three, did we get? Three out of 15. <laughs> you want to do the math? Three out of 15? What percentage is that? My calculator doesn't go that low. deck on a sea day is one of the most fun places to be. The live band is playing, the sun is shining, and the drinks are flowing. This is the main pool area on deck 11, which has two large swimming pools, four hot tubs, and freshwater showers. If you want a seat close to the pool though, you gotta get out here early. They will fill up fast on sea days. As you can see, however, there are plenty more chairs up on deck 12 with a great view of the ocean and the pool. Without microphone issues, you would be hearing us explain how we are heading to eat a free meal at Chops, the specialty dining steakhouse, on day four's vlog. You saw that both our steaks were lukewarm to actually cold when we ate at Chops on our pre-purchased specialty dining package. However, before we left that night, the manager asked us when we could come back to eat lunch later in the week. We chose today because it's a sea day and we knew our schedule would be flexible. So getting a cold steak in a specialty restaurant isn't good, but Royal wanted a second chance to impress us. So let's see how it goes this time around. Starting off with pretzel bread and... Me too butter and I bet it's gonna melt like butter. Now that's it is butter. funny. Melt like butter. Rip that pretzel bread open and stick it inside. That's what are you doing? So I need to go open here. Yes. There you go. Ooh, and then go and then take the butter on but then there I have you to go. Do, then I have to do every bite. That's okay. I have to butter every what, bite. What else have you got to do? <laughs> what else have you got to do? That's a good point. I mean you're on a cruise, girl. For real. What else you got what? to do but butter that bread? Butter every bite. The royal wedge. Oh, man. Blue cheese. Crispy, crunchy bacon. I got the shrimpers, which I've never had before. And I kind of wasn't super hungry. And I already ate a piece of pretzel bread. So you may get at least two of these because uh, I want to save room for my steak. Perfect. I just heard the word perfect. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Medium. Yeah. Any sauces? You want the sauce? Ooh, oh, sauces. Uh, just the way the chef. Yes, uh, yeah. like what that. kind of sauces are there? A burnish, a peppercorn, and red wine reduction. You probably Ooh. like the peppercorn. You like the peppercorn? Well, let's try a little. Nether filet, and it is hot. It's, Good. it's hot. And I'm trying the sauce. JJ recommended I get the peppercorn, is right here, and the bernays is right here. So we're going to dig in. We're suffering through this view for lunch out the windows of Chops. Amazing. It's a very calm sea, which will calm my belly for this wonderful meal. One of the best meals I've had on any cruise ever. The Bernays sauce, I'm a fan. And I'm not surprised because it's creamy and I'm generally a fan of all things creamy. <laughs> it's the fatter, the better, the more caloric, the better. It's usually what my taste buds prefer. The asparagus, wonderful. I can't fix it like that at home. It's great. And the steak is just perfect. Um, I like the peppercorn sauce too. But the Bernays, I think, is my, is my preferred sauce. I stopped because I ordered the chocolate molten cake and JJ is finishing mine. Darn it. Yeah, he hates to do that. He went with the red velvet. My wife is normally the red velvet cake person, but this has dark chocolate 
in the in between the layers. I was and not I'm a jo dark chocolate fanatic. He's probably going to love it. Mm, here we go. Didn't stand a chance. Molten chocolate cake with ice cream. You got to break into that bad boy. You think? Oh, you got to have the ice cream though on it. Like in like it. in it in the middle Ooh. of it. Yes. Ooh. I may even need a strawberry. It's probably going to be sour, though, <laughs> compared to the sweetness of eat, the chocolate eat the cake. First. No, I'm eating the chocolate first. Are you kidding? I'm going to waste space in my tummy with a strawberry. Mm-hmm. 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 All the way. And we're done. We're just so full. You can only do so much damage. We did a lot of damage. So we're going to the ice show now. We have about 25 minutes before the next show. It's at two and four o'clock. We went the other night, jam packed. Like we went with what, 10 minutes left maybe? It's jam packed, we couldn't find a seat. So we're going right now. Came back to the cabin and got my wrap. And because it's always freezing in our room and I know that it will be literally freezing in the ice rink, I'm out here on the balcony. Uh, just warming up before we go to the ice show. You, you, most of you ladies, do you feel my pain? Allow me to break the ice. My name is Freeze. Learn it well. You know what I'm talking about. So I'm getting a little warm, trying to get a little warm before I go in there and freeze. We got here at 10 till and it is almost completely full. We had to go from one side to the other to find seats. So make sure if you're coming to the ice show, any of the shows all week, that you come early.
Are you even hungry? Not really. I'm not either. Eat, sleep, repeat. And it is lobster night, so I guess we'll take advantage of that. I have at least two. You had at least two in you, huh? Vidalia onion quiche. That's new. Give that a shot. I've right. never had it before. It looks beautiful. Artisan cheese plates. Very basic. I'm not crazy about the bread. It's like a dark green, but two different cheese, three different cheeses, grapes. Oh, that's um like the chutney, the apricot chutney. And celery, which I don't eat. If you're not ready for something real heavy, but you want a little something to snack on before your meal, the artisan plate is a good idea. Review on the onion tart. The cream sauce is amazing. I believe you used the word, oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. After your first bite. And your second appetizer is? The garden salad. Who made this salad? The salad maker. Royal Caribbean. Who was it originally though? Seven Seas? Seven Seas. The salad maker. Let's see how many people remember that commercial. You're telling your age. Ow. <laughs> Well, I remember it too. I'm telling my age too. So it appears that they have decreased the amount of the salad. It's, it's going to be plenty with that other appetizer. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying in general, like the <coughs> Caesar salad, the first night was kind of less than what you're used to. It's correct. Yeah. I mean, we're not we're not going hungry. No. And lobster night. That was really easy to get out, right? You just they already have it fluffed up. Don't try this at home. I'm a professional. Oh, well then you can get mine out of the shell. I'll be glad no, to, ma'am. it's seriously already fluffed up, folks. So, you see that? Let's do this. Amazing. The, the lobster, uh, Judgey already asked for a second one. The flavor is wonderful. You know, they give you the butter to dip it in. The broccoli, I didn't even need any salt on the broccoli. It's already, you know, whatever seasoned or cooked well. That's great. If lobster tail is done correctly, it's kind of like Lay's potato chips. I bet you can't eat just one. <laughs> and yours is so I ordered the second one. Already gone. Yep. Baked Alaska. Never had it. I'm trying it this dinner. I'm excited about Baked Alaska. Uh, tell me your opinions about Baked Alaska in the comments. If you've had it, if you've never had it, and if you like it or don't like it. Cheesecake. That seems to be smaller than it used to be also. You know what? You can ask for a second one. It's if you all want. good. Pretty tasty. If Junior's is a 10, what is this? Seven. Oh, that's good. I'm not even sure how to eat it. Baked Alaska. From the top down. Marine. I'm not a real fan of Marine. But let's see. Okay. Eat it just like a piece of cake, huh? Yep. There you go. Okay. And that's the icing. I'll even get some of this raspberry sauce in there. That is super sweet. Dancing in your mouth. It's like the meringue is not meringue. That's right. like sugar icing meringue. This may be my new favorite dessert. Dinner done and we're heading to the show. I can't get over the baked Alaska. That was so good. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. Like how do you put like cake with, uh, I guess you like fix the cake and then you put the ice cream on top, right? Duh. I'm gonna have to look up now how they fix baked Alaska because I'm so curious. It's my new thing. It's my favorite new thing. <laughs> it's like you're so amazed with your dessert. And we're going to see impact. I've read in the Facebook groups that it's really good. I was watching the, the in-room the in -room TV, in-cabin TV, that they were given like a preview of it and it looks pretty good. So, do you know anything about it? Nothing. <gasps> I'm excited you, about you seeing it though. You will be amazed. I'm always amazed. This is like a Brazilian, maybe? I don't remember where. Oh, Ar Argentina? Maybe they're from? Argentina. Anyway, we will, again, with with trying to not be copyrighted, <laughs> struck on YouTube, we'll try to give you little snippets of the show.
perfect timing for more microphone issues on this trip. We can guarantee you this group was thoroughly entertaining. A video just doesn't do them justice. They dance, they sing, they play multiple instruments. Their dancing is unlike the other types you'll see on a cruise ship though. They use whips and bolos and some really intense footwork to infuse a true Latin flair into everything they do. It was a really unique and high energy show unlike anything we've seen. We highly recommend you make time for this show if they are on your sailing. We are in the shop with Kevin, Kevin hey from Columbia. He's been talking, we've been visiting like half like the night. Like half an hour, I think Half so. the night, we're seriously like <laughs> taking up your time, but this is great. So make sure you come to the shop. He's a supervisor. Please. See Kevin, ask him any questions. He come. will take care of you. Absolutely. Anything, anything serve it. This is the shop, y'all. The brand, brand, anything Royal Caribbean, anything Explorer. Oh, do you work over the jewelry shop too? Every shop. Kevin's Every shop, he's the man. All right things there. Wagner that told us me. to find Kevin. May we speak with Kevin, please? <laughs> Have an amazing time, guys. See you, and if you visit Colombia, I'll speak to you guys. He's there, too. I'll be there, too. End of day seven. Seven already? We are so blessed. Oh. It's just been an amazing cruise. If you have the chance to do an eight night, do it because we have one more sea day tomorrow. One more sea. Of course, they have the going away, the goodbye show tomorrow. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> no, they're going to kick they're us gonna off. They're going to kick us off. We're not thinking about that right now. No. That was funny. I got him. <laughs> Somebody call sick me. I need a doctor. I took the stairs and he took the elevator and I hid and I got him. Uh, I think I had a heart attack. Boom. He seriously jumped. And I threw out my right knee. <laughs> so we're headed down to Med Bay now. No, not really. She caused me to have a heart attack. It was a fun way to end the night. Tuck me in. I'm calling it a night. Have a good day or night or afternoon. Whatever you're doing, be blessed. Peace.